we'll be looking at how we can use async cargo to execute a X amount of tasks at the same time. To illustrate, let's look at this GIF. So async work cargo works like this. You have a set of tasks and then you have a worker. The worker will come back to the beginning to grab a set of tasks. Uh, the number of tasks that you can grab at once is set by you. So here, we let's say the worker goes back here, and then you have one task available, it'll just take it. Here, it has maximum of two tasks that it could perform at the same time. Even though there are three tasks queued up in the beginning, it could only take the maximum number of tasks that it, you set at the beginning. So that's how async cargo works at a high level. Let's look at some code examples. So here I'm using Lodash to create 10 tasks with the name from task 1 to task 10. And then here I use the each function from Lodash to push the task to the task list. Now task list um, Sorry, we will push the task list into uh, task cargo. So this is going to each of the tasks in the task list and then call tar task cargo.push to push the task into the cargo. So a cargo is basically a async.cargo function call. And this function takes a task parameter callback and a callback parameter. So here I'm just logging. Uh, the task name. So remember, this is the number of tasks that it can go into the cargo at any amount given time. So if you had three tasks, which which would define here as the second parameter of async cargo, this is saying this cargo can take a maximum of three tasks at once. So here I'm just logging out the task name, and then after you finish, you can call callback without any parameter signaling this is a successful callback um, function execution. If something goes wrong, you can pass in an error message in the first parameter. And here in the cargo that push, we take um, we have an error object as a function. So if something goes wrong in the pushing, it will just log it out and then returns it. Otherwise, it will signal the task is done. So let's see what this, uh, this JavaScript function uh, runs in node. So I do node async cargo. And as you can see, we set the maximum task to three. So it says working on task one, task two, task three, and only when they're done, it begins to work on task four through six. So it'll, it'll continue on until all 10 of the tasks are done. So this is async.cargo. It's very useful if you want to separate your tasks or functions to a particular number amount of time to execute.